Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best Class C motorhomes for full timing, and this one even can hold a combo washer and dryer. This is a 2022 Coachman Leprechaun Model 311 FS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Leprechaun and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you a full-time Class C. Now, when I say the F word, full-time, always remember, check with any RV manufacturer before you do decide to go full-time because you could be voiding the warranty. But when I refer to this one, what I mean is the floor plan design and the fact that you're able to get a combo washer dryer in a Class C, love that. But before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hey, everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. We are still here in Texas, you guys. Yes. It is still windy. Yes. So bear with us. And you know, I like that this Leprechaun has full body paint. Yes, it looks absolutely it looks fantastic. Nice. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Coachman Leprechaun 311FS. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet 10 inches. This is the Coachman Leprechaun. It is currently their top of the line Class C motorhome. And as Andrea said, the full body paint looks absolutely fantastic. Right up front here, we do have a nice fiberglass front brawl with the windshield. I love the way the LED lights look. And when I say it's fiberglass front brawl, it's not a full on cap, but the seams are actually right here. So it's less likely to leak that way. This is powered on the E450 chassis, and it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Jay, and the hand cooks. LT225-75 R16. With, look at those rims, what are they called? Alloy on, they look good. Then coming on down the side here, this is what's really unique. You do got cameras integrated inside, left side and right side, but these are the chrome mirrors, and I'm used to seeing the cameras in here. Um, I don't care where the cameras are, but they are chrome mirrors, and at least they do have side cameras. Coming on down the side, Andre, get another full look at this full body paint. Really nice looking ghosting right there, going from the dark gray to the white, really nice. Because this is a Coachman, they do use Azdel, which is a green-based composite green base material that will never delaminate on you. And then check this out. Wow. Right here, you got a Furion TV and everything for the outside. Coming on down the side here, Andrea. Here's your propane tank. And here, bing, that's where everybody can see their specs on TV. Power awning with LED lights. Right here, we do got a water heater. And right there, we got a little bit of storage. Right over here, I don't know much about this, but this says the Coachman CRV Super Spring Ride. Probably something Coachman does to upfit their chassis. Again, you can see the ghost thing on the paint right there. Really good job, really nice looking paint job. Right here, we got a propane quick connect in case you uh, do you want to have a grill for the outside and a little bit more storage right there. Now, Andrea, there's not a ton of storage on the exterior of this motorhome, unfortunately. But that is just because of um, what, what they got going on on the inside. Coming around the back, we do got a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Nice bumper for the stinky slinky. Backup camera right there. And there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Andrea, are we going up there? Uh, I really don't want you to, but you're going Let's to do go it anyway. Let's go up there and take a look. Hold on. Here we go now. It's windy, Matt. Up here on the roof, you can see this nice one piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Max air fan and your digital antenna right there. Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Whoa. 
Yes, that's really good storage. Very nice. Over here, Andrea, we do got your 30 amp hookup. Okay, TV on the outside and everything. TV was on the other side, huh? TV, um, I was right, but you were right. <laughs> Coax for the TVs right over here. Outdoor shower, potable water fill, potable. Potable. All right, over here is where our dump valves are, a little bit of storage. Uh, unleaded fuel right there. Coming on down the side here. More storage. Just a little bit, not a ton. Generator there. Mm-hmm, let's see. Onan Cummins, very nice. Thousand, and what's this? Storage. Just, yes, ma'am. All right. Well, Andre, I think it's time to get on the inside. But the outside of this motorhome looks beautiful and fantastic. The inside isn't my cup of tea for interior look and decor, but I want to hear what America has to say. So make sure to tell us down in the comments below if you like the interior. But Andrea. Let's go look. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is. All right. Cargo carrying capacity. Oh, Our man. Only Here it is. It's 1784, so not bad. Okay. All right. Wow. Interesting. Um, very interesting. Okay, so here you can see that the slide is in. I'm going to walk through. I have plenty of space. Um, here's the refrigerator, which you can still open. Uh, coming through here. Uh-oh. What we got going on here? Bed is on a slide. Definitely cannot use that. And it looks like you can still use the bathroom. All right, Matt. Andrea, before we show everybody the inside, special word from our favorite sponsor of the Motorhome Channel, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes, and you can go with your RV Safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, you can see this is an awesome, awesome layout. Wow. Let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. This is the E450 chassis. We'll get this baby started up. Look, chameleon. I love the chameleon screen. Right here, we do got the steering wheel right here. Uh, the newer one. This over here is our radio. You're gonna see our cameras, our Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cup holders here. Andrea, sit in the co-captain seat. Andrea, how does it feel? It feels great. It's comfortable, I got plenty of space. Yes. I'm ready to go. Yes, I do like the oversized chrome mirrors when you're driving down the road. You can see what's going on and everything. And we do got a bunk over the cab right there. This is interesting up here. What's that? The bunk over the cab. Yes, ma'am. 350 pounds. Okay. We've got that shade right there. Yes. The window. Yes. And look at this. Okay. So you ready for this? Do you know what this is for? Um, up front? Yes, ma'am. So both of these seats swivel around to become part of the living area. And then you can set this up to kind of have like a little table. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. 350 I pounds of the bunk. Nice little net. Safety net. And a, um, a fan up there. You know what I'm saying? And I like that they got two privacy curtains here. Fantastic. And HDMI and USB right up here as Pretty well. Pretty cool. And then we do have a shade that comes down there. No, we do not. Actually. No? That always stays open. Um, there is no shade for that. 
Well, I, I guess you'd have to get an aftermarket thing to put in there. Andre, I don't make them. I don't <laughs> make them. But yeah, a shade would be nice. Uh, and then over here, uh, so right there you got a little bit of storage. And then Andre, show down there. You can see that that's where your auto gen start is, your auto leveling, all your control panels and everything. And then over here in the living room area, we do have these transparent doors. Okay. And then Andrea, look at the balances. Um, what do you think? You're trying to trick me. <laughs> I already said before I didn't really care for these, but no, no. um, they're no not, buts about it. <laughs> they're not bad. Oh, Honestly, man. they're fine. It's just this little metal thing is kind of strange. But you know what? I'm gonna prove it. No, I am. You're not. I'm going to approve I it. I didn't. No, no, yes. not not happening in America. I'm Why approving are you gonna approve it? it? Because it's not a crazy uh, valance that's um, hideous or 1980s. It's actually very simple and neutral. And the only thing that's weird about it is the metal here. But other than that, I mean, hey, you guys, we've all seen worse, right? So I am going to pass it. Andrea, we're going to have to have a little talk <laughs> afterwards. I'm going to deny it because they're atrocious. And the metal piece right there is atrocious as well. It is. But you guys, you let us know what you think. Andrea. I think the cabinets are strange. Andrea, <laughs> I tell you, here's what I do like. Daytime shades and privacy shades. And here's why they're atrocious, Andrea. Not only are they atrocious, but you know we love Coachman. The way they do the sports coach and the Murata and the Encore and everything else looks fantastic. And this is just like, wham, wham. But here's what's not, wham, wham, is this nice theater seats in a Class C motorhome. Not one, not two, not three, but four cup holders. Right here you got the little remote action. That's you're gonna have like two beers at a time. Yeah, this feels like, um, you know what this feels like? So I never, I, I, I don't sit first class on airplanes, but when I fly Spirit Airlines, I get the big front seat and that's what this feels like. Feels like a, I'm in a nice big front seat on the Spirit Airlines flight. And then we are looking kind of adjacent to where the TV is. Now, this is the Furion TV, and it does swivel out and that swing is out. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Come part of the living area. Right over here, we do have a great big window and nice cabinetry above the dinette. This and is what I like. This is what I love, Andrea. Um, very nice. U-shaped dinette. Yeah. Oh, the CR Super Spring suspension. It's rear leaf in Sumo Springs. Stability control, dynamic balance drive shaft system, heavy duty front and rear stabilizing bars. Nice. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. Cup holders in the dinette. Andrea, I love the U-shaped dinette. Kick button awesome. And yes, as Andrea said, cup holders in the corner as well. Looks like we got a um, storage over here on this one side. And this does drop down to make a bed. Fan freaking tastic. What are you looking at over there? That right there. Oh, that's just a little DVD player. Ah. Andrea, show us the kitchen. Okay. All right, so look guys, looks like we have a tower of power here. Hey, that's nice, tower of power. We've got a cabinet above here. Very nice. Nice residential style sink. Okay. Um, not a lot of counter space. We have a we have storage under here. Yes, ma'am. Convection microwave. Okie dokie. Free burner propane cooktop. Very nice. Magic chef. Ooh. Well, lights not coming on. We got an oven, and we've got one of these things for you know pots and pans. Got another. Oh, I like these. Very nice. Okay, and behind me, look, they gave you a residential Everchill refrigerator. Very nice. Now, Good this size. is very unique and a classy. Yes. Well, Andre, that's why I'm saying this full time, because it's this and something real special in the back. Look, put wine in there. Why not? And, okay, oh, I love this. Look at this. Mm. Nice, nice pantry here. Yes. And I guess I'll just scoot on More down pantry, here. yeah. Pantry or... Uh, whatever you want to put in there. Whatever. Down here as well. And then we have the bathroom here. Go on. 
Interesting. This is a big bathroom. Uh-oh. Sure is. Look at this. This is, oh, wow. Okay. Little unique. Look at the entranceway. Little unique. But it's not a radius. And I rather have to turn to walk in than have a radius shower. Let's this see the shower door, Matt. Okay. Totally doable. Totally fine. Totally acceptable. Okay. And then over here you have... You know, your sink, yep. you got a cabinet right here. Oh yeah. And then, oh my god. What's that? Wow, Show everybody, it. look at this. Okay, well the ladder's here, but let's see. Mm -mm. We got a nice cabinet right here. We've got a combo washer and dryer. Right there, look at that. Got a nice window here, and then we got two cabinets over here. Yes. Pretty cool. And if you can see, there is an, another door going into the master bedroom. We'll go on out that way. Sure. Yes. I am super excited about that combo washer and dryer. Of course then. Andrea. Oh, 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 hang on a second. Look at this balance. That's a nice balance. That's a, hey, Andrea, that's a nice balance. That metal crap that they're putting on, like there's some sort of cyborg, half cloth, <laughs> half metal. I don't know what that's doing. But here's what I do know. Do you know what this is right now? This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. And you got a nice window to let in some nice natural light. Can Very you go nice. go the other way? What, this way? Yes. Because I want to show, okay, so we do have like this sliding pocket door here. Yes, ma'am. And then here we have a queen size bed. Now, unfortunately, the bed does have to flip up for the yes, slide out the clothes. Because it is a, on a slide. But it is what it is, Andre. This is a huge class C. Storage above there, nice headboard. Okay, no storage yeah, underneath the bed. the bed. Now, this is interesting. We have the TV here. But look, you guys, this is really exciting to me. Now, what this is that? This is a closet. Yes. This is what I would need. Go on in there. Yes. I love it. You have so much room here. You have two drawers right here. Wow. Lots of space. Yes. Electrical outlets. And, mm. you know, you have a mirror, too. So. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Now Andrea has her own dressing room. <laughs> this would be ideal. Yes, ma'am. And, Andrea, as ideal as it is and as great as it is, you know what time it is. It's now time to give everybody three things we love about it and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay, well, what's number one? I am going to say I love this closet. Yes, I look at that. I love it. I mean, how many reviews do you think we've done of Class C's? Oh, I don't even I know. I mean, we've reviewed... Hundreds and hundreds. We've reviewed every single one on the planet. Have you ever seen a room like this? Um, In another leprechaun, but no. No, just Other this leprechaun. That. It was this leprechaun in the Quantum K920. Yeah. Uh, we don't normally KW, see it. Yeah, but we don't see it. Yeah. Other than those two... Very unique, or, awesome, and I love that. Yeah, I mean, it's just great. This is really ideal for people that, you know, are full-timing. Yep. Um, you know, it's great. I mean, you can even put stuff on here. Fantastic. That's number one. Andrea, walk out there, please. Like number two, Andrea, make sure you watch your step there, is, oh, and you can hold the camera right here. Just angle it. The fact that you're able to get a combo washer-dryer America in a Class C motorhome is absolutely fantastic. Guys, you don't see that. And if you're going to be full time and in a Class C, I would say that's something that you definitely want. Yes. Did you mention it was solid surface countertops? No, I forgot. Very but nice. Solid surface countertop everywhere. And then, Andrea, do you know what like number three is? What's that? U shaped dinette. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love the U shaped dinette. It's absolutely fantastic. It's my favorite feature about that this motorhome. So that's three things we love about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. I will give you number one because I'm doing number two and three. Okay, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to combo mine because I have two dislikes that I really have to talk about. Talk about them. I think this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think that's the weirdest thing, but okay. It's the weirdest thing. What's weird about it? I don't, I, it, you guys know I love pink, right? Yeah. I absolutely love pink, but this just looks weird it just doesn't go within here and it just it's like an eyesore to me okay that's number one combo and then number real two quick, i think that you know other than that the kitchen's great but this motorhome is so fantastic on all points that i feel like we definitely need more counter space and an extension would have been nice right here andrea not all points <laughs> but most points okay so that's number one and two yes right let me give you number three and four 
Oh, uh, that's number one. And number two, I'm gonna do a combo out here. So if you come on outside, Andrea, first thing, first part of the combo, I hate how low the TV is. Yes. Okay. A uh, really stupid design. I just want it to be more eye level. Not that big of a deal. That's why I'm gonna combo it. But Andrea, what I'm doing is I'm turning the camera around to my eye level, okay? Now, this is what I'm seeing, okay? So when I take this and I'm putting the slide in and out, can you see that? I have no eyes on that back slide out. Even if somebody's taller, they cannot see what's going on on that back slide out when you're opening and closing the slide out. Especially on a unit where the mattress has to be folded, you won't know if something's going on until it's too late. So I hate the fact that the slide out button's all the way down here. Put it up there somewhere, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Andre, it seems like the wind's kind of cooperating with I us now. I hope so. Thank goodness, because we got a couple more, and then we're flying back home to Florida, baby. In and out, 48 hours. We're like Jack Bauer from 48. <laughs> Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Whoa, you did like a little Scottish foot dance there. Do hey, again. back up, back up. I did a leprechaun dance. You ready? Oh, Let's do well, it again. Let me see. Ready? Yeah. It's now, we got to do it again. Oh, okay. It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> <laughs> People are unsubscribing right now. I know. MSRP on this motorhome here with the washer dryer with full body paint. Oh, and it looks like maybe solid surface countertops might have been an option as well. It's 156,886. Wow. Andrea, MSRP. But America knows we don't pay MSRP. And here's the best way to buy a motorhome if you're ready to buy a motorhome. It's by working with our team, by going to mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that contact info. We're gonna figure out where you are and where our closest dealer partner is to you of the unit that you're looking to buy. We are gonna make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the, just the best overall RV buying experience in the RV industry. Or we at least we're gonna try our best. You know what I'm saying? Yep, Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Uh, Coachman, they do watch the videos, you guys, and they read the comments. Andrea, so they wait, really, wait. They really want to see what you have to say about the balances. Andrea, you look like Pocahontas with your hair blowing in the wind right uh, now. Oh my goodness, I can't even remember that song. Oh, Have you uh, ever oh, heard that's the right. <laughs> um, But yeah, they do watch the videos, you guys, so they, they are very interested in your comments, so please leave your feedback. Yes. Um, thanks for sticking around on this windy day, yes. and we hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.